Hi, I'm Justin, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fire-breathing pumpkin. <laughs> I did one last year. It was a pumpkin that threw down a knife like it was stabbing someone. I mean, how funny is that? Pumpkin trying to attack you on Halloween. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing it, and so this year I thought I'd step it up, take it up a notch, and I came up with this. Uh, it is a fire-breathing pumpkin. I'll show you what it can do. I added the, the spinning saw blade. Uh, if that wasn't enough to warn someone off, you got the fire breathing pumpkin and get your back. Well, I'll quit talking, check it out. I'll show you how to build it. It is just a couple of RC parts. I have, I fly RC planes, so I have RC stuff laying around. It is a servo, an, a motor for the, the saw blade, and then a travel hairspray can attached to a paint sprayer that you can get at Home Depot or Amazon. I'll link that down in the description below. Uh, and it turned out pretty cool. I'll show you how it works. Let's light this thing up. Oh, and the source of the uh, flame is going to be birthday candles. I figured they, they're not gonna last as long, but they will be easier to um, angle and get right just in front of the um, hairspray can. If you saw it this year, um, this is the, the creepy kid walks around with the lighter and the hairspray can. <laughs> and so that's pretty much the premise. If you've seen that movie, you get how this works. It's just a tiny can of hairspray and tsh, tsh, a little bit of flame. You got a fire breathing pumpkin. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> In this project, I use a spray paint can handle as the trigger. I was adding a popsicle stick to give myself more leverage because the servo wasn't very strong. So I drilled a hole in the popsicle stick to add a lead line so that the servo could pull on the popsicle stick and in turn pull the trigger down. So I did a test before this one and the control arm had too much slack in it. So I just bent the wire a little bit more and then it came out perfect. Oh, it's a one and done. Blew the candle out. As you can tell, I was having a little bit too much fun with this. But I thought it was just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, I also wanted to add a saw blade arm for a little bit more fun and aesthetics. So I just cut the saw blade out of foam board and then painted it to look like a real metal saw blade with a little blood on it for some extra special effects. Now moving on to uh, carving the pumpkin, of course, it is a necessity in this build. Uh, without knowing it, I did the same exact pattern I did the year before. Um, I guess I just like that creepy classic jack-o'-lantern look. When planning out the pattern I was going to use for the pumpkin, I did put the hairspray can next to the pumpkin to figure out where the nozzle was going to be so that I could put the center of the mouth there. Had I done this again, I would put the mouth a little bit higher because I did burn the top row of teeth. Now that you got all of the pieces, it's time to put them all together. Uh, working on the saw blade, this is just a engine for a RC plane that I glued onto a arm that I could stick into the pumpkin. And I did hollow out a hole for the spray can so that it could stand up when I placed it in there. I did add up, end up adding popsicle sticks on either side that I could poke into the pumpkin that would hold it sturdy. I just wanted to test it out, see if it did work, and it worked great, as you can see. But you're probably thinking, Justin, why would you need this? And I don't know, pesky neighborhood kid trick-or-treating. You have those little brats down the street who egged your house last year. You have kids that are clearly way too old to still be trick-or-treating. Cute pumpkin. <laughs> Trick-or-treat. Trick-or-treaters at this hour? I know how to take care of them. <laughs> and pesky neighborhood cats. 
I'm just kidding. I would never hurt an animal. But I hope you enjoyed. Had a lot of fun building this. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to do silly projects every once in a while. But I also do DIY projects around the house. I like to build stuff. And so if that, any of that interests you, feel free to just subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the build and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>